that you can connect to Allah through serving humanity. When someone is sick and ill, pray for them, visit them, go to see them if you can, or at least send them a message. I am praying for you. May Allah give you shifa and so on. Again, when people are sick and ill, depending on how close they are to you, number one, number two is how sick they are. Because sometimes you say, you go to the sick person's house, knock, 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 but he wants to sleep. No, I'm here. Ziyaratul Marid, Iyadatul Marid. I need to visit the sick. Now the man is sleeping. No, wake him up. I need, I'm coming to visit. Sunnah, Sunnah. What is the Sunnah? Then you go in and you sit. You say, right, bring the tea, bring this, this. My brother, did you go for Sunnah or you went to have a mini breakfast there? Huh? It's amazing. Then people sit for two, three hours. My man, from long outside, they're saying, when is he going? When is he going? And you don't even know. Oh, you know, but you don't mind. Astaghfirullah. So that's why you need to know some people, one message is enough. It's called Iyadatul Marid. No problem. Sometimes one phone call is enough. Sometimes you send a message through someone else. We are praying for you. It's enough. Sometimes you can visit quickly and you can go. If you are very close to the person, you can go. Sometimes they want you. Please come to see, come sit down with me. I need to talk. Go. Alhamdulillah. So for everything, you need to know how much, where, when, and how.